And that, Jim, is why you should be riding your bike and not doing your job. Back to the studio. Well, I'm sold. Our next story, oh, hold on. We have some breaking news coming in, breaking news. And when I say breaking news, I mean happened at least a few days ago. A young 17-year-old wins the Etapa Arena, the queen stage of the Redlands Bicycle Classic. New story, exclusive. The mysterious voiceover man who kind of has an ASMR vibe to him will tell you more. Uh, lol. What's up, guys? I'm a little slow on this, and I've been slow on the videos. I'm super sorry. You guys need to subscribe so I can quit my day job and just sit around and ride my bike and make videos all day. So get on that. No, I'm just kidding. But this was a bit of an exciting thing. I want to make this video just so I can look back on this and say, ha, this kid is world tour now. I think this kid has a lot of promise. And who I am talking about is AJ August. So he is 17 years old, and the first time I actually heard of him was from cyclocross. He won a pretty large, uh, prestigious junior cyclocross race called the Koppenberg Cross. You guys have probably heard Koppenberg from the Tour of Flanders. It's a Belgium, Belgian cobbled climb that is pretty steep, and there's a cyclocross that goes up it. And he won that, and we all know uh, Vanderpool, Van Aert, Pitcock, they all come from the cyclocross world. So I think people are watching it a little bit more than they maybe would have five years ago. So that was in the winter, and fast forward to a couple weeks ago here in April, we had the Redlands Bicycle Classic. And now that there's no tour of California and Colorado and Utah, you know, those used to be the big stage races. Um, there's not a lot of stage race competition, and Redlands is one of the few. I think Gila is still going on, and then there's some at the back half of the season. But Redlands, I've always thought of it as kind of a good predictor of the future. I think the the junior teams often come out in force, and guys like Sepp Kuss, uh, Nielsen Pallas, tons of other people that have gone on to become World Tour and do amazing things have done well at the Redlands Bicycle Classic. And it's in SoCal, um, and it consists of a circuit race that's pretty hilly and tough. Then stage two is the queen stage that we're going to be talking about which has a mountaintop finish up the Oakland climb. Then there is a TT and a criterium. And then finally, there's a kind of classics, uh, hilly road race to finish things off. So it's not an easy stage race by any means. It's not like uh, the Tucson Bicycle Classic that I did where you could just kind of sit in and get towed by the echelon dudes. You have to actually put out the watts at Redlands. And I did not race it. Um, our team isn't pro Conti or whatever you need to be. But one of my teammates, Zach, actually, shout out to him. He guest rode for Valet and he was down there. There's no coverage of the Redlands Bicycle Classic as well. So there's, uh, you basically have to go off of what is being posted on social media and that isn't great. But let's talk about this Oakland stage. So it starts off doing, I think, four laps of this loop and then they hang a left here and climb up the Oakland climb. And I don't think this is actually like a perfect climb for August. I think it's, it's about 5% all the way up and uh, just over 2000 feet. And I'll put that in meters up there, but it's, it's not super steep and he's a very slight, small guy. I think he, Strava has him, it, whatever you put on Strava, his weight is 130 pounds. So yeah, he definitely gives me kind of like a, a Tom Pidcock vibe. Obviously, he has the CX and he's small, and I imagine he has the good bike handling. So I'm excited, and let's look at his power, what he did up this final climb. And I guess the way it happened was he attacked, and it was kind of a nasty, not SoCal day, what you would expect. It was really foggy and wet and cold, and he attacked and kind of got away from a very strong group, including Tyler Stites, who's just been cleaning up stage races here. He's on Project Echelon, and he actually ended up winning the, the GC, not to spoil it for you guys. But uh, he attacked away from the strong group and held it, and you can see his power was super solid. He did about six watts per kilo, 
And that six watts per kilo, you know, I'm sure a lot of people are like, oh man, my masseuse's ex-boyfriend's best friend did six watts per kilo. But there's a big difference between doing it just fresh and, you know, very questionable whether or not power meters are calibrated and everything and uh, doing it at the end of a difficult stage race. So, I, and, and you can see there's a pretty big kind of like dropout here with his power meter. So he did a really solid power and that six watts per kilo is a pretty good predictor in doing well in world tour climbing races. I think Sepkus did a similar wattage up this climb in 2016. So I think this kid is someone to look out for in the future and who knows what that looks like. You know, there's been a lot of young up and comers that I've seen, uh, you know, burn out from the sport. So I just hope that he continues to do cyclocross. If he's interested in that, he doesn't rush into joining a world tour team. He kind of, you know, takes it slow, enjoys the process because, um, yeah, I think he, he has a lot of room to grow. And some of you might be like, oh, well, Pitcock, you know, when he was 17, 18, he was doing, uh, you know, bigger things and he was already winning, uh, junior world championships. And yeah, that's true. But I think this kid, he hasn't had as much exposure to the European racing yet. He, I know he did, a abbreviated road season out in Europe last year, but I think he needs to get more racing under his belt and that's going to pay dividends. And I, I fully expect to see this kid get picked up by a world tour team and, I'm excited to see where he goes. So yeah, let me know what you guys think as always in the comments. Uh, if you are back East, if you know this kid, you've heard of him, if he's spanked you in a road race or something, I'm sure we'd love to hear about it. But yeah, as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.